Our neighbor Mars fascinates us. Working together, they dig into Mars's past to answer the ultimate question, did Mars once have life? February 2021. The newest robot investigator speeds towards Mars. The most advanced rover NASA has ever sent to another world. This is Perseverance. The goal of the Perseverance mission is to look for signs of past life on Mars. First, it must navigate safely to the surface of the planet. Perseverance enters Mars's thin atmosphere at close to 12 and a half thousand miles an hour. And deploys a parachute. Navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Perseverance activates its jetpack. Retro rockets slow the lander's descent to a crawl. Then, 66 feet above the surface, the sky crane uses cables to gently lower the rover to the ground. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Yes. Curiosity searches for evidence of calmer, more permanent water in Mars's past. Investigating layers of rock at the base of Mount Sharp, a three mile high mountain in the middle of the crater, and discovers rounded pebbles like those we find on Earth. When you see a rounded pebble on Earth, you know that that got rounded in a river channel. Some of them used to be angular, but their angles all got knocked off by being rolled and rounded and moved by water. So we're very excited when we see rounded pebbles on Mars. The rock layers and rounded pebbles tell us that over three billion years ago, Gale Crater was a lake fed by rivers. While robot team members Curiosity and Perseverance work the Martian surface, eight probes orbit the planet, searching for clues about Mars's ancient wet history. Leading the pack is MAVEN. Its mission, to solve the mystery of Mars's lost atmosphere. Today, the atmosphere of Mars is incredibly thin. It's only about 1% the atmospheric pressure. When you see things like river channels that probably took millions of years to carve, that gives you an idea that the atmosphere was once very, very different. It had to be thick to allow liquid water to exist on the surface. MAVEN's data reveals that Mars has lost 65% of the argon from its atmosphere, and the solar wind continues to bombard the planet. The atmosphere of Mars is being stripped away by solar radiation by a quarter of a pound every second. This rate of atmospheric loss leads to one conclusion. The solar wind robbed Mars of its once thick atmosphere, and with it, the planet's water. So why is it the Earth's atmosphere is still mostly there, whereas Mars's has been stripped away? Earth has a protector, a magnetic field that shields our atmosphere from the ravages of the solar wind. Dating the magnetized rocks reveals that Mars had an active magnetic field for almost a billion years. This means that the atmosphere of Mars was protected for those billion years. And if the atmosphere was protected, 
the liquid water was protected. And if that liquid water was a home for life, then that life was protected. But something happened to bring Mars's force field down. Now, InSight probes the planet's interior. Its mission? To discover if the secret of the planet's lost magnetic field lies beneath the Martian surface. 2021. InSight listens for seismic vibrations called Marsquakes as they travel through the planet's interior. The magnitude 3.1 and 3.3 quakes came from Cerberus Fosse, a series of trenches that stretch for 750 miles across the Martian surface. Some fissures cut through impact craters that are only a few million years old. This means Cerberus Fosse must be younger. InSight's new and improved layout of Mars reveals a 969-mile-deep mantle surrounding a metal-rich core. We have always thought that the core of Mars was long since solidified and wasn't warm at all. And InSight is now showing us that actually, part of the core is probably still molten, which is shocking. Mars seems to have a bit more sulfur, at least in the surface, than Earth does. If we extend that composition to the core and add more sulfur to the iron-nickel core, that would actually reduce its melting temperature, making it possible for this core to be molten today. We thought that Mars lost its magnetic field when the core cooled and solidified. A molten core changes everything. Over time, as Mars lost heat and cooled down, its core stayed molten thanks to the sulfur. But with less heat, there was not enough energy to power the churning convection of liquid metal that creates an electric current. The convection in that core would have slowed down to the point where no magnetic field would be generated. 3.7 billion years ago, Mars's magnetic shield dies. The solar wind's relentless attack strips the planet of its atmosphere. As the atmosphere disappears, water on the surface gradually boils away. Where is Mars's water hiding? Some scientists think it could be stashed away in the Martian rocks. When we look at a rock, we often think this is a really dry thing. There's no water in there. but. In fact, there's often a lot of water in rocks, and it's because it's bound up in minerals. Researchers estimate that as much as 99% of Mars's water could be locked away below the surface. And Mars hides water in other ways, too. Enter the European Space Agency's orbiter, Mars Express. Probing one mile beneath the Martian South Pole, it finds a secret store of water. We still aren't 100% sure that the lakes are completely liquid. Some scientists think they could be lakes of frozen clay. Until we have a rover that can explore beneath the poles, we won't know for sure. And so the search continues, and Curiosity uses another piece of equipment to sniff out traces of past Martian life. Like a robotic bloodhound, it sniffs the vaporized dirt and picks up the faint smell of a rare molecular compound. What Curiosity discovered was a compound called thiophene. This is interesting because at least on Earth, thiophene is often found in fossil material, in, in coal, in oil, as well as stromatolites or microfossils of ancient life in the fossil record. So maybe this thiophene we've now discovered on Mars is some trace chemical fossil of ancient Martian life. Or possibly it was produced by non-biological processes. Curiosity is knocking on the door of finding the evidence for life on Mars. We haven't found life, but we've found the interesting bits that are pieces of the puzzle the organic puzzle of life on Mars. And so it's getting us to that ultimate question, 
Is there or was there ever life on the planet? In Gale Crater, Curiosity detects a huge surge of methane gas. The methane we've detected in the atmosphere of Mars is potentially very, very exciting. Most of the methane in our own air, in Earth's atmosphere, is biogenic. It was released by living organisms. Curiosity's result is exciting because we know that this can't be ancient methane. Methane is really interesting because it has a short residency time in an atmosphere, which means it breaks down very quickly. Whatever is making methane in Gale Crater is doing it right now. Maybe this Martian methane is the first trace we found of Martian life, microorganisms living deep underground. Or maybe that methane is not biological, geological. It's methane that's been given off by volcanic processes in the past. The frustration is we can't quite tell the difference between the two just yet. There's something in or on Mars that is adding oxygen to the Martian atmosphere during the spring and summer and then taking it away during the fall and winter. There is something that is actively controlling the amount of oxygen in the Martian atmosphere. What is that? The atmospheric changes in oxygen and methane are a fascinating puzzle and a tantalizing hint of life. Life on Mars explaining these changes in methane and oxygen would be incredibly interesting. The army of robotic explorers continues to rewrite the story of Mars. Discovering a once warm, wet world with the potential for life. Now, a new generation of robots led by Perseverance will dig deeper into the red planet's troubled past and its frozen present, and maybe hit the mother load, life itself. <laughs>